our next option in Q-Link will be program. So here in program, the program is right here. This green name right here is the program. You see the program icon to the left of it. And so here in the program, I'll play it back again from the top. We'll see here in the program, we got levels here, right? That's level only for pad one. And you can see that right here. We see right here that this is zero one. The level is right there. I click right here. Now, click the button actually, that's pad two, except for panning. So in the program here, these represent the pads in the program and how certain pads have parameters tied to them. Here I have panning tied to pad three. Pad four, I have panning as well. Pad five, we have tuning for pad five. And I can set those parameters right here and change them. We have this is mixer and here's program. I can use anything that's in the program itself, as you can see right there, and pick whatever I want to pick and then I would select that parameter, and then I would change the data for that parameter. And this is our project queuing section. So each one of these knobs represents the 16 pads for that parameter, or for that program, rather. Now, I come now pull up um, the pads here, right? This is cool. It's the pads, right? And these are the pads, right? So each one of these is for these pads, right? If I come to here, that's going to be pad number nine. And that's its padding. So I can come to solo pad number nine. No, let's do it in a different pack and see, actually. Let's use um, this rim shot here. I'll solo this pad here. And that's pad 12. I'll come to pad 12, which is right here. And this is padding. I'll press play. That's right, that's left. I can change it too. I come to here, I go back to mixer, I can mute it or send, I can go to the program. And I can apply, let's say there's gonna be an envelope release or decay or resonance. I may wanna apply resonance to this, so I come to here. That would apply resonance if I had resonance selected in my program. And I would send it there. So I'll turn this up. Let's say, for example, I may want to go back to program again and find a filter cutoff. Or I go back to program again and I want to use the amp envelope decay, depending on how I set it up. Now it's decaying rapidly. It's playing the entire sample in this case. Let's stop this. And that's how we can use the program queue link to sort of change parameters for any one of our pads, one through 16. I can either go to, as you can see here, I can go to the mixer or I can go to the program.